but I have the Washington Mutual source person and I have the JP Morgan Chase source person. And so those are the representations with their their nodes and relationships um, directly around them. You know, we've got some addresses here, different accounts that they own, um, some name parts that would, would be used in the kind of the matching aspect to figuring out which, which ones would be the same. And whenever I say matching, I'm, I'm mainly referring to the aspect of saying, is this pers source person the same as this source person? Because a lot of times if you're bringing in two unknown sources or two different sources that have never been combined before, you have to go through this process of reconciling them to say, okay, these two are the same, these two are the same, these two are the same, and build that kind of Rosetta Stone essentially to say, okay, you know, this John Jacob Smith is the same as this source, John Jacob Smith is the same as this source, and then that creates that tie, and that's what you see here, you know, as soon as I expanded the Washington Mutual node, I now have the what I had created as kind of the master record of, you know, which is a person, I gave it a person label, um, and I want to say, okay, after I've gone through the matching process, I know that I have one person that represents, that came from these two different sources, and I'm going to, it's going to be this John Jacob Smith, and, you know, he's got, he originally was from, had a Washington Mutual representation and a J.P. Morgan Chase representation. Now we have one single representation where it has a source back to the original. And so it lets you retain that reference. And so now each, um, each source structure in terms of its hierarchy and the graph and the representations can exist in isol you know, can exist on its own and be used whenever you're merging new data into the graph. I've kept a full representation of each source and it's in complete isolation. So I have you know, a source phone, so one source phone for each. I have a source address, so these are all the source addresses across the two accounts, the two from Washington Mutual, the two from J.P. Morgan Chase, um, the different source accounts that were involved. And so all of those are kind of the source layer in the graph. And what, what I've done is simply create these connectors out to, you know, so this real person uses a phone, but then the source person uses the source phone. And so it's still here in the graph and it, it exists and it can be used for, you know, different matching operations and algorithms and reconciliation to say, okay, which two of these people are actually the same. And then for the actual Whenever you're doing operations that you want at that one singular representation of that mastered data, you'll use the non-source representation like person. 